What is going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to basically plug a PS3 controller in and use it on games just using Motion Joy. Alright, so first what we need to do is we need to go onto the website, which here goes downloads and um, the latest one doesn't work for me, so I think I download this one. Wait for it to download. Open it up and if you don't have, um, I'm not sure if these are normal zip files or they are, you don't need WinRAR then. Okay, so... Yeah, that one doesn't work, that one doesn't work, right, which one does this download? So basically right click it, extract, and fix that one. Run, install. It's the same procedure as installing anything else. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so get your program up. Okay, now plug your PS3 controller in. Or your Xbox controller. Although this is a, this is basically showing you how to convert a PS3 controller, and tricking the computer to thinking it's an Xbox controller. So plugging an Xbox controller into this really is not going to do anything. So plug your PS3 controller in. Go into Driver Manager. Say yes to the pop up. I don't know if it pops up on the recording. Um, click that. If you have other ones there, make sure you're clicking the right one. I know that's the right one because the only one there. Load Driver. Install. This may take a few seconds or minutes, depending on how slow the computer is. There we go. Go back to profile, and now it's registering the controller. If you click enable, oh sorry, click enable and vibrate. That was my controller vibrating. If you could hear it through the mic. All right. So the controller is working at the moment. However, this will not work on the games yet. What we need to do is this setting here. Xbox 360 controller emulator. I don't know how when this was introduced. It's probably introduced ages ago. I just didn't notice it. Click on that. Click enable. And now when you start up a game, it will think your PS3 controller is an Xbox controller. Now, this won't work on all games. If you want to, this will only work on games that support controller input. So if you want to make it so you can play on any game, old game, watch my other video which also shows you how to you have to download a program called Xpadder which allows you to bind each key to do certain things. I hope this tutorial helped. I hope you get some use out of it and thank you for watching. Bye bye.